Today, I thought it would be really fun to go back to The Sims 3 Late Night, which is one of my top five expansions. Like, I love this expansion so much. We got so many fun things that involve with city life, apartments, celebrities. We got, you know, bars, mixology, just all this stuff. And I just really wanna go back because I love this expansion. Bridgeport is one of my favorite worlds. It is beautiful. So today we are going to be playing The Sims 3 Late Night. So get some popcorn and let's get wasted. So we are in the game and in Bridgeport, which is a world that obviously came with Late Night, if y'all did not know. And I have my Sim in beautiful Late Night gear, okay? Let me just say, the Late Night clothing is magnificent. It's actually, in my personal opinion, probably the best clothing in The Sims 3 for the expansions because they just really killed it, all right? And it, Master Suite stuff as well, but you know, that's a stuff pack, so it don't really count. But um, if we're not including stuff packs, like definitely Late Night has some of the best outfits. Now the hair, the hair is another story, okay? You know, it was a really big struggle to try to find a hairstyle that I like. This one's fine. This one will work because I couldn't find anything better. So we just gonna go with this one. Y'all gonna be happy. Y'all gonna smile. Y'all gonna look at this and be like, ooh. Ooh, look at that hair but if you want some good hairs from a good expansion with some good hairs you need to get generation because girl if you're trying to download this expansion for hairs you're you're not gonna get what you want I am in a penthouse because of course penthouses are like the late night classic like I had to put my sim in a penthouse that is one of the best things that, that came with late night and other than just the world of Bridgeport itself Bridgeport in my personal opinion is the best world in the Sims 3 um I think it really kind of gave this industrial vibe that I just live for I love penthouses and just the late night vibe that it had to it it just fit perfectly with the expansion and I really 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 <laughs> I really love this world like I, I can't express it enough it I use this world religiously like religiously whenever this expansion came out and it was the only world that I played in for quite a quite a while okay it is a perfect mix I feel like if you don't want to download custom worlds Bridgeport is the way to go I really like the townies I also just really love the nightlife and I love the penthouses okay the sims team really showed out but the inside is not that cute. Okay, this is our house. And first off, nothing matches, all right? Literally nothing. I I, I don't know, understand. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand this color scheme, but it's fine. It's fine. This is our penthouse. It's cute. Um, but this is the overview of Bridgeport. Also, I really like this world because it was ginormous. Like, we were not used to seeing... A world that was this big late night was actually the third um, expansion in the series so yeah so far at that point we hadn't received a world that was this detailed and huge this world is gigantic can I just say like I really really love it there's a lot of clubs a lot of bars a lot of really fun stuff to do and I felt like this is the perfect third expansion because then all the worlds after that for the most part have like some type of lounge or club or anything so this is just giving me very much memories like I love this world so much y'all okay so I think we're gonna of course I mean it's eight in the morning okay in the game there's not really much that we can do in Bridgeport um that's not like late night fun we have to definitely go at night to really get to enjoy the late night style so what I think I'm gonna do um is I may just have my sim visit maybe marina field just to kind of see what's going on there now another interesting thing about bridgeport is that there's also i mean there's still parks and stuff actually i'm gonna go to bridgeport acres but i don't think that there was a festival lot at this point because i don't believe that seasons was out yet so it was just a very good um way to kind of accommodate for us not really having seasons or anything like that let's go ahead and change my sims outfit what are you wearing girl I intentionally, oh, and here's a townie. Her name is Joanna. Now, another thing that we got introduced to with Late Night is the celebrity system. Now, I, you know, I always go back and forth with the celebrity system because, first off, I'm going to greet her because she is a celebrity and I want to, you know, kind of increase my celebrity status. But I go back and forth with the celebrity system. I love the system itself. I think it's really fun and I enjoy being a celebrity. Um, the Royals are celebrities, so I obviously really love the celebrity system itself. I think it's really cool. However, 
However, the paparazzi are so annoying. Now, I know that there's mods to, like, get rid of them. Um, but if you don't have the mod, you have to just get rid of celebrities altogether to get rid of the paparazzi. They're super annoying. And I know paparazzi is pretty annoying in real life. I mean, that's kind of facts. Um, I'm sorry. I got to try to figure out how we can impress this girl let's talk about charisma um i also think it's really interesting that you are able to kind of bring up different topics to impress the celebrities now we're obviously lying my sim does not have a job she does not have any skills she's a loser but she doesn't know that she doesn't know what we do for a living so i'm gonna just say i'm a star chef a five star chef for celebrities i'll be cooking all that good stuff okay let me come over your house and cook for you let's be friends um, we don't really have any wealth, so I just feel like we're lying at this point, but I don't really care. We're talking about our wealth, we're talking about our career, and all the things that we've accomplished, which is literally nothing. Um, maybe she likes video game developers. I mean, and it seems like, you know, it's kind of working. Excuse me, but now is not a good time unless you think you have what it takes to try and press in another celebrity. Joanna, you are rude. You are rude, but it's fine. We are still going to try and be your friend because I really need some celebrity status, sis. All right. And you're going to help with that, hopefully. Um, but one of my goals is to impress Joanna. She's not impressed. She's like, will you get out of my face? She's like, will you get out of my face? Um, I don't care if she's annoyed. She has attempted to impress Joanna multiple times. Clearly, Joanna is annoyed and wants to be left alone. I don't really care if she wants to be left alone. That's not my problem. She really seems to like charisma and, like, happy people. Um, okay, so <laughs> I've annoyed her with my badgering. Fine, I'll leave you alone. I mean, I was pretty dang close. Is there another celebrity? Oh, Jeffrey Cook. Okay, old man. You're a celebrity. Oh, they fighting. What is going on? <gasps> oh, my God. Why are y'all fighting? Wait, are they siblings? Oh, my God. They're siblings. Why are they fighting? Why are y'all fighting? This is not the time. In the middle of a park? Come on. Be classier than that. Are you kidding me, y'all? The ghetto. <laughs> the ghetto. Oh, oh, look. She kicked your booty, girl. Oh, and that's your teen. Is she a teen? <gasps> Oh my god. Wait, is that her mom? Did you just fight your mom? Was that your undying need to rebel? Look at her mom's face. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't control my child. Oh, I'm so sorry, lady. Is this your daughter? She kicked your butt, girl. She, she was like, I ain't doing my homework. Not today. Oh, look, she running. She running away because she's scared. Let me talk to uh, Elizabeth. Elspeth? I was going to say Elizabeth, but that's not even, I mean, I don't know what that spell it is, but all right. We're going to just um, introduce ourselves to her. I'm guessing that they're related. Oh, and maybe that's her dad. And then, I mean, she's a teen, so it's very likely that those are her parents. And you just fought your mom. Um, I don't, that's like a new level of disrespectful. And I can't get behind that. Because at first I was all about it, you know, kick some booty girl. But that's your mom. <laughs> Don't be abusing your mom. PSA, don't abuse your mom, okay? Just saying. <laughs> don't be hurting your mom. Um, Elizabeth, you're a little bit of, you take rebellion to a whole new level, girl. Let's go ahead and ask about her age. Um, I am kind of sad that I didn't get to get any celebrity status so far, but um, it's almost time for the clubs to be open. So we can hopefully go there and meet more celebrities and get to know more people because, you know, um, and it looks like she's 15 days younger than us. Okay. 15 days, exactly. All right. Let's go to make a silly face. I'm trying to make new friends, y'all. I mean, we're making friends with a little teen, but it's fine. I don't care. And then we're going to ask about her career since we're ambitious as well. Um, another thing that we got introduced to with Late Night, obviously, is mixology and um, just the nightlife, going to clubs. Um, when you're a celebrity, you can, a lot of the time, sneak past a lot of the fancy, fancy clubs and get in. Obviously, my sim's not a celebrity, so we might just have to bribe. We might just have to bribe somebody, all right? Now, there's also three different types of clubs. You can go to a, I guess this is like a dance club. And then this one is like a dive bar sort of thing. And then the lounges are a little bit more fancy-pancy. 
okay they're a little bit more fancy and usually those ones are like very bougie and you have to be like a good celebrity to be able to get in and since we a peasant we just gonna go ahead and go to um the sports zone because <laughs> i feel like you know that's that's fair i feel like we'll be able to get into that if you're looking for an expansion with a lot to do, this is definitely the one that you should go for because, I mean, Late Night has a lot of really fun stuff to do. I mean, so much stuff to do in the city, just so much that you can experience. And it looks like my Sim wants to have a drink. Okay, so there is a private section in the sports bar, which I don't understand because it's just a regular sports bar. Like, it's not cute um we're gonna give him a high bribe because i don't have the time to be trying to impress him we just don't have the time just take my money thank you thank you sir see i knew that was gonna get him bribe the sim with money and they will always let you in <laughs> um always so we're just gonna go ahead and go in thank you thank you sir Look how easy that was. So we are in sports zone. Let's go ahead and order a drink. And we are going to get the bad cheerleader. Also, another thing that we're able to do is we are able to buy a um, drink for other Sims, which is pretty cool. Oh, girl, your outfit. Who is this? You just look like a celebrity. Oh, my God, she is. Wow, she's level four. Wow, she's like a celebrity celebrity. Look at all these celebrities being able to go into this private section. We could never we could never it's all right whatever um and then we're also going to go ahead and order another drink i mean my sim can get pretty wasted she also wants to get into the vip section girl i don't think that's gonna happen oh and we are in the mood from this juice romance is in the air wait no it's a drink a good serving of some liquid romance is sure to put any sim in a mood for love so i also love that a lot of these drinks give you certain moods so if my sim has this drink you know she'd be feeling a little woo hoo -ish, okay she could just call you know anybody up and be like oh let's go ahead and get it and that adds in a little bit of drama and tea you know if you want to take your sim out and, and, you know, just boohoo anybody in town. You could do that because she's in the mood. Just saying. Um, this drink does not look very appetizing. And it looks like this guy... Oh, we're trying to take a photo of him, but why? But why? I mean, no offense, but I don't really care about you. Is that rude? I feel like that's rude. We're going to just take a photo, I guess, because he is a celebrity. And I'm going to have... Her go ahead and just kind of get another drink. We need to be a little bit more tipsy, girl. And you're just not as tipsy as I like you to be. So we're just going to keep drinking regular, regular drinks. Okay, so we did the winning streak. We got the flaming waylon. I actually want to see what every single drink looks like. Because I usually get the same drinks for my sim because I'm basic. So the, the Hogan's deep fried juice was lame. Like, that was not a good drink. So... I think we need the bad referee, and then that's it. Then we should have had every drink. Oh, and it looks like it's happy hour, which is awesome, because that means that the drinks are half off. I mean, we could just buy a full round of drinks and just drink those, but it's less fun. We can also converse with the mixologist, and also we were able to, you know, do the mixologist skill. My sim really wants to become a master mixologist and own a bar, one thing that was very interesting and is even though we had the mixologist thing, we didn't really have like a career for it, which was interesting. I don't really know how that worked. I was still confused on that. Even when I did my late night series, I was like, what the heck? So I haven't really explored the mixologist career very much. I'm very basic and just haven't had the chance to do it. So yeah, are you going to drink your drink? Oh, and here's the next one. See, this is the one that I always get the yellow one. I always, always get this one. And I think this one gives you a lot of energy. I don't know. Oh, and she's feeling very warmed from the juice. There is nothing like the feeling of a warm flame to make a sim happy. And she's also feeling very fulfilled. Okay. You feel fulfilled, girl. You feel fulfilled. And Alan Stanley, let's just go ahead and greet him, I guess. I mean, I don't really know how successful we're going to be with this because... I mean, all the other celebrities hated us, and he's a higher celebrity status, so... I mean, we literally only just talked to one celebrity, but it's fine. We're gonna lie about our wealth. 
Sorry, unless you have something impressive to talk about, I'm not interested. Okay, Stanley. The celebrities are rude. Y'all are rude. Okay, so he's kind of old. So what is something that old people like? <laughs> I can say that, y'all. Okay, what is something that old people like? Um, I feel like, you know, he does not like bands. Maybe jazz, but like, you know, maybe let's talk about business. I feel like maybe that's something that he might like. And we're also going to talk about what's a skill that he might enjoy. He's like, no, <laughs> I don't care about that. Okay, what about piano? Don't people like piano? I don't know. A ukulele. Is there a ukulele option? No, probably not. Our, oh, look, see, he likes the piano. How did I know? We're going to keep using the piano line. Because maybe if we keep using the piano line, he might still like us. And it looks like, oh my god, we're getting all these notifications. I need to turn those off. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's try piano one more time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We don't have all day. No, girl, no. You're gonna have to pee on yourself today because we were on a roll. Um, let's also talk about, well, no, because I feel like a bookstore clerk isn't like a celebrity occupation. Let's talk about film, maybe. Oh, no, wrong person. No. Don't ask for her autograph. Where did he go? No, he went in the VIP section. He's trying to run away. Okay, we're gonna have to bri <laughs> bribe this guy $100 so we can follow this man because I am not having it right now. Give me, okay, yes. He's like, okay, girl, thank you for them coins. Okay, I know he's trying to eat, but I don't care. You better eat your onion rings and talk to me, sir. Those are bad for your health anyways. Come on. Let's go. Oh, and it looks like Romeo Rake started dating. Wouldn't you know it? Money can buy happiness. Go on in. <laughs> You're so petty, sir. You better get it together. You are better get it together. Okay. Come on. Come on. Just one more. One more. I feel like I'm a lot less successful at doing this than Carmen is. If you guys don't know who Carmen King is, I feel like everybody does. But she played Late Night. And she was a lot better at this than me. Which, I play The Sims 3 more often, so I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like I should know The Sims 3. Like, this is my bread and butter. And I can't freaking impress him. And look. <gasps> Yay! Okay. So, you seem like a okay girl, Kennedy. I admit that I'm kind of impressed by you. We should hang out more. I'm not interested in hanging out with you. I just want to be a celebrity. Now, okay, so now we can, like, be friends with him, kind of. So we're just going to ask about, I mean, I have the woohooer mod in here. And honestly, I could force him to woohoo with me. <laughs> I mean, we could. I think that would be fun. So let's do it. And also, he's a celebrity. So I feel like if I, oh, oh my God, y'all. If, <laughs> if I woohoo with this old man, maybe I will. I, I like how I keep calling him an old man. I don't even call him by his name. Anyways, if I woohoo with this old man, I can get um, hopefully some celebrity status. Oh my God. I am a seductress. Y'all, I cannot believe I am doing this. What is going on? Another amazing feature that came with late night. Oh, yes. <gasps> We are now a celebrity, I think. Wait, hold on. I became friends with him, so I don't really know if we're a celebrity yet. Major Scandal has reported that Kennedy has been woohooing in public. So I actually heard something um, off of Twitter that was something that came with Late Night, which is the fact that we can actually sue the person who spread the rumor about us woohooing. Now, I don't know if we'll actually win because of the fact that like we obviously woohooed in public like there's no escaping that we obviously did it but we can sue for slander for 128 simoleons so i think in the morning that's exactly what we're gonna do because how dare they tell people that we woohooed in public how dare all the people that were at that lot who witnessed it say something that okay mind your business mind your business oh my god we actually won 
What? Wait, how did we win? Kennedy had to pay $128 in legal fees. So I'm really bad at math. So let's see how many simoleons that was. Let me bring out my calculator real quick because, girl, d don't don't laugh at me. So we got exactly 407 simoleons in total, which is still pretty good. Yep, and I just double-checked, and it looks like our celebrity status is level one, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves. Um, why is the food so expensive? Oh, my God. Why is it so expensive? $180 for some dim sum? $75 for some sushi? Okay, we're just gonna get some autumn salad for $30. Thank you. <laughs> get some good autumn salad. And it looks like this guy is celebrity level one. So get on our level, sir. As as we're literally celebrity level one as well, but who cares? Um Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get her to grab herself some autumn salad. And while she's eating that, um, oh my god, here's Tom Wardy. If you guys don't remember, or if you don't know if you've never played The Sims 3, Tom Wardy is an iconic celebrity in The Sims 3. He's iconic. He is iconic. There's nothing else to say about this man except for the fact that he's iconic. And I wanna get to know him because he's cute. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Tom Wardy Q, okay? There's another celebrity in here that's also very iconic, but I can't remember her name, so we're not even gonna worry about her. We are not even gonna worry about her. And we're just gonna, I guess, greet him? I mean, I think it'd be more nice to just ask for his autograph. We're a celebrity too, so I feel like he might, well, girl, first off, you need to change your outfit because Tom Morty is not going to want to talk to you looking like that. Let's go ahead and ask for an autograph now. Hopefully it'll work. I mean, this guy asked for an autograph and he's level celebrity one. So we love ourselves some Tom Morty. I wonder what his backstory is. If any of you guys know, please let me know. I wonder if he's a, like a professional athlete, if he's famous for um, something else. I don't really know any of the Bridgeport stories. I probably should look it up, but let's go ahead and try to impress him. And we're gonna name drop Adam Stanley because we know him. Even though Tom Morty is definitely more famous, um, we're still gonna drop name drop and see if he likes it. He's like, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna talk about our charisma. Come on, Tom Wardy, be nice to us. And we're also gonna talk about our wealth, even though we have no money. He's not feeling it. He's like, get away from me, freak. <laughs> Let's answer our phone. You're not as nice as Ad or whatever his name is. Alan, Adam. No, I don't wanna talk to you. Alright. Um, let's see. Well, maybe. Just maybe. If we, can we woohoo with him? No, we can't. Dang it, okay. I was like, maybe that's a good way to get into his heart. <laughs> he just seems like not a nice person. Uh, let's just try to, you know, talk about our sport agent career. We're not a sport agent, we're lying, but it'll get us somewhere hopefully, I don't know. He does not seem to like people at all. Yeah, he's like real rude. Fine, Tom Wardy, I didn't wanna be your friend anyways. I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> And then I'm gonna get rid if he doesn't like us after that second attempt. I'm done like I'm done trying to be nice I tried. Oh, he seems to like that. Well, maybe he is into music or something Let's just talk about like guitar. Oh, he's leaving He left. He's like I girl. I don't have time to listen to whatever you got to talk about All right Well, then let's just go ahead and blow some strawberry bubbles Obviously, we are not very successful right now. We're not winning at the moment. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, I think we have to, I think we have to go through here. Oh, and there's a freaking guard here. Oh, man, are we gonna have to bribe you two? Ugh, oh, fine, we'll bribe him, $100, 100 simoleons, whatever, and see if we can get in. Okay, yeah, see, we can always, <laughs> always get in with cash with a little bit of bribe so let's go ahead and blow some strawberry bubbles this was also a really cool feature that came with late night i really really love this little thing i think it's so cute i know it's just literally my sim blowing bubbles but i think it's the cutest interaction ever and i really really like it i use it a, quite frequently and i get super excited whenever they're in clubs because i always have my sims use them look how cute look at y'all she blowing bubbles 
She is blowing bubbles, living her best life. Yes, blow them bubbles, sis. Blow them bubbles. The guy in the background's like, um, I don't get paid enough for this. Okay, guys, well, it is two in the morning and it looks like the bar is closing. So I think it is time for me to go ahead and end this video right here. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite club, lounge, whatever in the sims 3 late night and also let me know if this is one of your favorite expansions i definitely think late night is in my top five list of favorite expansions just because it's so extensive there's so many fun things to do and you could literally sit here for hours and just explore bridgeport itself this video took forever to film like i've been playing for quite a while and it's just because late night is so extensive and there's just so much to do and I haven't even scratched the surface of the stuff that you're able to do in this freaking expansion. So let me know in the comments down below if you're, it's your favorite expansion or if it's one of your favorites. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I will see you all on Friday with another new video. Bye, guys. A secret, yeah, I promise I keep it. Our little secret.